Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on the new map by MS Modding, Buckland Farm. Uh, been a good few months since I last had time to make content between changing job, different things in real life and uh, my internet playing up but I now have a new internet provider so shouldn't have too much of an issue. So let's just get fired straight in. So made some changes to the starting equipment. Probably changed out most of it. Um, no real major changes to the yard. You start off with the house. The greenhouse there in the garden. I did swap out the workshop for a smaller workshop, big shed. And swapped out the diesel tank there. Machinery wise is where I did the biggest changes. I kept the base combine, but I swapped out the fent for a new haul in TS. We have Kane Silas trailer there, a few bits of implements here and there, roller, telehander. Swapped out cedar and the bits and pieces there, different baler and things over here, wrapper. We have a forage harvester. As you can see, I've got a Land Rover instead of the base game truck. A few more bits and pieces here. The combine, now this one you do actually start with as your starting equipment. I'll just dump the Land Rover in here. Out of the way for now. Yep, we do have the Class Treon 720. And we also have a Landinian cane grain trailer over here. So, let's just get fired straight in with the wheat harvest. We are on the main starter farm. Here at the top, you have a pig, small pig farm yard over here that you can buy. And a sheep pasture down there and a stables down the bottom. And an animal dealer reserves over here. I think that's uh, just the sale points. Uh, but yet we have sheep pasture, a chicken pasture there. I added in an extra chicken pasture for more chickens. Uh, there is a cow pasture on the back of the cow shed. So we have three grass fields and one wheat field. So Let's not stand on ceremony, let's get fired in about this wheat. So we do have the usual course play, follow me, auto drive. All the usual bits and pieces were on normal difficulty, but in new farmer mode. So we start off with the common ground, BGA, etc. But we'll get flying in about this wheat. Yield is not looking too hot at the minute. So I hope you've all been well in my extended hiatus from making content. That touch wood. Hours are better at the new job, currently. I will be on call at times, so there'll be times where I will be as busy as ever, but it's closer to home, doesn't take me as long to commute back and forth. All being well, I should have more time to do this, and now my internet is much better than it was. I should be able to keep things going. 
So there's obviously been quite a few different drops, mod drops and updates since my last video with having the new premium DLC with the crops so that we do have that active in here with the hope that we can do some of those and then you also have the manure system which I do have enabled but don't think it currently works with the sheds built-in sheds on the map but what we will do is we will give it a go if it doesn't work we can try and swap them out for ones that do work or hopefully MS Modding might uh, manage an update with when your system ready Yeah, not the the greatest of yields of the field. What I will do is while we're here. I will set this guy to field twenty seven on load, tip in the silo, wheat just there we go. And then if I do field I don't want him to do anything currently. We will eventually put this guy on course play to finish the field. Well, we go and get the baler. We'll try and crack on as quick as we can with this. With it being wheat, we will get chicken straight away. What I need to do is remember how to make that auto drive guy work to come and empty me. We shall fill up first. We're getting there, we're getting the kind of really not very good yield off of this field at all. Right, now just what we want is Oh, I can't remember how to do that. We'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way.
I think at the minute I'm going to have to drive down to this guy. Get this unload. I will, uh, if I change that to fuel 27. to do this, it's been that long. So I'll nip down, empty this and be right back with you. There we go, emptied into him. 91% of that trailer. And what we will do is we shall stick this guy Point. I to do this myself. I don't, don't, I don't know what's happening here. Well, it's going to take me a little while to figure that out again. I did manage to figure it out before. But we're going to get this tipped into the silo and dryer. Doing that, we'll uh, drop this loader off out of our way. Baylor on the TS. I do have the updated net wrap mod so I can carry the net wrap round in front of me. And the three point linkage. is you can fill from the front to the back. Get the Lamdini back. This guy's on automatic unload, so he should unload into the Lamdini without me having to. So 
So, I will jump into a quick time lapse here. Will we finish this off? And I'll be back with you all soon. So we are nearly there, a little bit left to go, not, uh, not enough lot, we've had two full loads of the trailer off, the workers there just uh, finishing off the baling for us. Those don't need those. So there is quite a few bales, one, two, fives out of that bale. Unfortunately, we will uh, We'll be collecting them up, they'll keep us going. And for our cows. When we get them. Oh, little TS bombing away there. We shall go and empty this trailer while Crossplay finishes off that corner. <laughs> What we'll do is we will go and we will buy some chickens and ducks straight away. We will get started. As I said, the one on the left there is the one that comes with the map. This one. So we were the holds there, eh? So we will stick in. Ten ducks to begin with, whereas the other one is the open pastures mod. So we'll go with chickens and we'll stick 20 of those in I think I'll do for a start. So we better give them some food now. Go 
going to take an awful lot because I don't think the feed troughs are very big. Not the most powerful of tractors this landing, but definitely seems to be doing the job. Do you like the 4D modding mods, but it's a bit slow in doing stuff, but we're there. So, I'll keep them going for a day or two. Stick the rest of this in the silo, and I think the harvester's stuck in the bale. Had a wage payment for the two workers. Looks like the harvester is done. Get him unloaded, or her. Is it him this time? There we go. That'll be that finished. Well, we will let the baler finish off so we can see how many bales we've got before we end this video. I'll go around and tidy up the bits that course play have missed as usual. Guy back over to this corner, get these couple of little bits. Waste not, want not, as they say. It's not going to be very many liters. Yeah, we'll feed a duck or a chicken. Um, I do have to apologise if you can hear my dog cough in there in the background, but he is uh, 14, nearly 15, so is prone to a bit of coughing. No, he hasn't been too bad to cough in for the last wee while, but now I've started recording videos again, he's decided to start again. Looks like we're just about finished. 54 litres, that was hardly worth it. Uh, Wasting the diesel for. So that's 
go finished. Let's see how many bills we made. Here we had bales, 27 bales off of that field. So it's a good start. So on that note, we shall call this video there. And I shall see you all again very soon. On Farming Simulator 22, back on Buckland Farm. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks once again. Bye.